Hi friends, this is Muhammad Jibran and welcome to our C++ tutorials. In this video, I will be explaining about the multi-level inher inheritance. So, so far we have seen single level inheritance and multiple inheritance. So, what is multi-level inheritance? Multi-level in level inheritance will be something like this, even which you have a base class A, using this class you derive another class that is B, then using this uh, B as a base class you derive another class that is C. So whatever you give over here, all the variables and the functions will be available here and the whatever the member functions and the variables are here will be available to the class C. So now let's try to write a simple program to explain the multiple multi-level inheritance. So open our compiler. Uh, let's just write program for multi level inheritance then I'll say class name as A this I will say in the public section I will create a function void values ok so now here I'm going to assign some values to two variables that is M it will be 2 and N will be as the value 2 m is 12 and is 2 what are m and n m are two integers okay which are public to all this makes our program a lot more easier if you declare them as public then likewise we need another class say class b semicolon then again in the public section i'm going to form another function that will be void multi ok this will multiply them in this function I am going to just do something the result of m into n is equal to something and uh, what is that something that something will be m into n ok line so this is the end of your class B we are, this is the class A now how shall I make use of this class or make this class as derived class simple as like we have done in the other videos public class A fine now your class A is the base class for class B and now class B can use this values of M and N because if you remove this your compiler will prompt you an error because you cannot use the value of m and n because you don't you have not declared m and n over here so to use them you have to say this thing ok now you need another class that is class c which is public to class b now this class b can use everything written in class b again public in that I will say void add void add what void add will do add these two numbers the sum is equal to something like this the m plus n ok now that's the end of your class so uh, now again your class B is working as the base class for your class C now your class C can use the value written in class B and as you already know your class B can use the value written in class A so overall your C class can use the values written in A as well as in class B so this all your class C can use by how? Uh, because you have made class B as public to the class C which is public to class A ok so now let's go to your main function in our main function I will create an object say obj this will be your object to the class C then I will say obj dot values ok then afterwards I will say obj dot multi then obj dot add now we have 
program using HCS. What we would have done, I have created an object using our third class that is your C class. Now object of this class can access the values, everything, the properties of this class as well as this class. So create an object using this. Uh, then now let's run your program. The result of M and N is 24. What is your M and N? Let's have a look. Your M is 12 and is 2. Okay. So now run it again. Check again. Yes. See. The result of M and N is 24. 12 into 2 is 24. The sum of tw M and N is 14. 12, 2 is 14. So it works fine you can make some changes according to you if you want you can uh, do some more stuff you can add more functions in it you can do whatever you want or if you want to perform a certain task you can divide them in class A and class B write it separately and you can use that in C so the benefit of it is you don't have to search in one class for everything you should not write everything in one class because if your program is very big it will create a big mess to find out what you wrote over here so to define a class differently with a specific name defining what is happening in it will help you a lot in the upcoming bigger programs so that's it for this video i hope you understood the program and thanks for watching the video